What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, yesterday a few people asked me what is Season 2, when does it start, and what can I expect from Destiny 2 when Season 2 goes live. In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about all of that, that way it's not confusing to anyone. But before I get into that, a little bit of Destiny 2 news, as well as enjoy the gameplay. If you haven't already heard, Bungie was supposed to do their last Curse of Osiris stream later on today, but that ended up getting cancelled. Instead, Bungie wanted to focus on a blog, which obviously isn't as good as a reveal, but this blog is supposed to tell us where Bungie plans on going with the game. And they are listening, and they are trying to change a lot of things, but I guess we'll see what happens. I will be doing a video in depth of the blog itself, so if you guys would like to check that out, then stay tuned to the channel. Now let's get back to Season 2. All links to all of the sources will be in the description, that way no one tries to chop my head off. So let's get started. First off, Season 1 will be ending on Tuesday, December 5th at 10am PST for Pacific Standard Time, which is the same day as the weekly reset and Season 2, as well as the Curse of Osiris, will begin directly after. With this change, it will reset your clan level for the new season, so everyone's clan will start from scratch in order to rank back up to the highest level, which, as of Season 1, was level 6. Not sure if they're going to up the level or not. However, prior to Season 2, Bungie will allow Guardians to, quote, reach the maximum clan rank and earn more loot before the end of the season, end quote. They are calling this the Clarion Call. This will give us double XP and a chance to earn twice as many Bright Engrams. If I am correct, there needs to be at least two clan members doing activities together in order to be able to get this function to activate. Next, we will talk about Rituals. Rituals include things like Iron Banner, Faction Rally, and the returning holiday themed event called The Dawning. Let's start with Iron Banner first. The token system will be changing as of Season 2. We will now have the option to purchase Iron Banner weapons with tokens as well as legendary shards. As of right now, I personally am not sure whether Iron Banner weapons will be all available for you to choose or if they'll be rotating per hour or so. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. We'll be able to win Iron Banner armor ornaments while playing the Iron Banner game mode. Given that Bungie is implementing ornaments for armor, I am assuming, and this is pure speculation, that Iron Banner Season 1 will add the ornament option to the armor instead of giving us new armor for Season 2 for Iron Banner. More about ornaments later on in the video though. We will be getting new Iron Banner weapons like a Scout Rifle, Hand Cannon, an Auto Rifle, or it possibly could have been a Pulse Rifle, as well as a Grenade Launcher. This past Iron Banner was the last Iron Banner for Season 1. Let's move on to Faction Rally. The only change to the Faction Rally is that we will be able to earn Faction Armor by playing D2 and pledging our allegiance to one of the three factions, which are Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, and Future War Cult. And that's pretty much it for Faction Rally. Nothing much was said besides that. As for the Dawning, as I said earlier, it is a holiday event that is returning from Destiny 1. With this event, we will get a few changes to the tower as well as the farm. We will be able to play mini games such as hockey, as well as being able to have snowball fights? I have no idea how Bungie is going to make that work, but okay. The Dawning will also bring new Dawning themed armor for us to wear. I'm not sure what power level they will drop at, and I would assume they would drop at the appropriate level you are, or we will just have to infuse the armor. Now, let's move on to Eververse. The rewards that we get from Season 1 will no longer be available in Season 2. All items except shaders will change. This includes emotes, ships, sparrows, ghost shells, and other cosmetics. So, if you are hunting a certain exotic, whether it be an emote, sparrow, or ship, then you might want to grind and get it before Season 2 starts. Going back to shaders real quick, Season 1 shaders will remain, but we will also be getting Season 2 shaders as well. Here is a little bit more speculation. Bungie may keep the old exotic ornaments in rotation with new ones if we get new exotic weapons, which most likely we will in Season 2. However, if you hold on to Bright Engrams from Season 1 until 
after season two goes live, you may only get season one items. So it'll kind of be a waste if you hold on to them. Speaking of ornaments, Iron Banner ornaments will not be the only ornaments coming in season two. We will also be getting Trials of the Nine and faction ornaments as well. In order to get an ornament for that armor, we need to complete a challenge that is attached to the gear itself. Next, we are going to talk about the meta. With Season 2, Bungie Sandbox team will be pushing out weapon balance tweaks. There will be perk changes and some weapons will be changing their archetype from kinetic weapons to energy weapons and vice versa. Not much was said on the topic, but don't be surprised if Mida, Last Hope, and Yuriel's Gift get hit by this change damage wise or even range or stability wise. We will see at least one new crucible map and I'm pretty sure Bungie mentioned two but don't quote me on that. It's a possibility that an old map from Destiny 1 will be updated like they did with the Distant Shores which is an updated map of the Destiny 1 map Shores of Time. Now this is all the information that I actually found online so don't chop my head off if there is something that I did not mention, and if there is something that I did not mention, please leave it in the comments below. And that fellow guardians brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.